Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Battle Brothers the Widowmakers. So, last time we left off... Actually, I, I don't know why I'm over here. I, I spent uh, some time, I was watching the end of the last video, and I, don't, I really have no idea why I came up here. Uh, I, I saw some fog, and I think that just attracted me to to take a walk around these mountains. But I didn't realize that the next town over was so far away. So, And I think that might have been my, my idea, was to head to the next town through here. And I just said, okay, let's, let's go for a walk. But we left off outside Ruins of Iron Heart Keep. And as promised... We're going to jump into this. Yeah, let's see what it is. Alright. Um, I think I hear the whispers of ghosts, or geists, and that, that uh, kind of confirms it. Let's take Let's take a look. I, I don't think we're going to be sticking around for this. This is going to be a slog. No, okay, it's... I mean, there's a necromancer. There's 22 opponents. Three of them are very likely to be geists. So... I mean, I don't know why I'm still doing this. Let's, uh... Let's just sound the retreat. So that they, so this guy can't charge at us. Um, I'm, yeah, <laughs> there's, there's, I think if we had some better gear and some better brothers, I would, I'd definitely take this on. This isn't too bad, but on day, before day 40, three geists. And I don't think our bannerman even has all of our, the bannerman, I don't think he has the, um, forgetting the name of the, the trait or the perk now but um, uh, rally the troops I don't think he has it so yeah three guys no way. No way. Maybe there's something really cool in there, but, um, no. I mean, 54, 62, 71. Yeah, we, we just, we're not ready for something like that. So we're gonna, we're gonna head out of here. And I think what I'll do is just head down here and we'll go over to, probably not here. I think we just came from there. I don't remember. I know we came from Norheim. Well, anyway, let's head this way. We'll go south to uncover some more fog. We're pretty desperate for, for money at the moment. Um, I mean, we could sell it now. I don't think I really want to. I'm pretty sure we can get that close to 4,000. So, I mean, we're pretty desperate. But let's let's see if what this is, at least. Oh, follow the tracks. All right. Let's just do this really quickly. I'm kind of disappointed I... I was hoping to find something up there that we could take on. Heat Helm is no longer fat. Okay. Heat Helm. So he's at 81 hit points with 83 fatigue. Hey, that's still not bad. Not bad. We'll take it. Oh. 
There they are. Dug in some raiders. Actually, it's night time. I kind of want to see. Please, please don't attract any. No, please don't. Oh, it's only some. Okay. Oh, get out of here. For some reason, I thought it was like many. Um, I was waiting for daylight so that we could get some some uh, range support, but I don't think we're even going to need it for this. Uh, yeah, okay. Wait. 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 Uh, we're gonna wait back here. Just gonna end my turn there. There we go. I don't want to knock him off. Oh. All right. No, wait there. <laughs> this guy has a wooden... Oh, he's a thug. Okay. Um, move up to here. Okay. I kind of want... I, I mean, I don't want him to be here, of course, but I, I feel like that would be advantageous. We'd be able to get a couple hits on, so I'm going to leave Sigmar there. I guess it's too late, but... Nice headshot. That's better. Yeah. It's exactly... I mean, it's it's not a good thing, obviously, but... Oof. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> uh, just just stay there oh. nice oh okay perfect wait and there we go alright well we gotta level up I was a bit afraid of Alvar there, but, uh, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna, oh, okay, we got some good things out of this. We'll see how we can use it. Before we get up there, let's check out Valdemar's level up. Plus four, great. And... I mean, we'll take the initiative, I think. Going for crippling strikes. I've been pro I probably have been putting a lot in initiative here. I think we'll continue with that. Because he doesn't have a lot of fatigue. I was thinking, you know, if we if he had more fatigue, then we can put some heavier armor on him and put him on the front line to to kind of soak up some of the uh the arrow shots a little bit, but let's, or the rain shots. 
we'll go with that and I'm just gonna take crossbow now yeah I think that's gonna go a long way that plus crippling strikes plus it's um let's see here 50% ignores armor so yeah that's gonna be great this is another 20% Okay. Oh, I wanted to look at the gear and then I got sidetracked there. So we definitely have some gear that we need to spread out here. I think that's going to be fine. What I'm going to do is switch this around to, to save one more fatigue for, for Canute, the exhausted. Um, pass this back. I'm going to do, let's do this, so you have some better gear if we do end up putting you in the front line again. We want to fix this, we want to fix this. I'm going to switch that out now. Okay, that's better. That's 10% chance to hit. Okay, that's still 10% chance. I mean, I do want this, but uh, sometimes what I do is this. Uh, and I did this in the last playthrough. I give them, give them kind of a better weapon. And then when I really need it, I can just pull it up. Uh, but I, don't, I think this is going to be fine. And... However, we probably want to get some better gear on you, don't we? I feel like this is kind of too much, but... Yeah, there you go. He, he's kind of pretty low fatigue, so we're going to have to continue working on that. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's, it, we'll make it do. He doesn't really need too much. He's going to be able to get most of this back. But once he gets Rally the Troops, he's not always going to be a Bannerman. Maybe we find a better Bannerman, we can just kick him. I'm hoping that we can kind of cycle a little bit more this this time around. Uh, whereas in the past, I've pretty much just kept what I have and made it work. We are getting too low on cash right now. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, that. That is basically my play style, is just make it work and brute force. And, uh, and I think it's more fun that way, in a, in a way, anyway. But, um... Oops. But it's also... It's also pretty difficult, and it gets kind of frustrating from time to time, so... I think we're good on some of this gear since there's nothing else to do here we'll be on our way can we even take i don't think we can yet we are professional okay we do actually want rally the troops okay okay i see what we're planning here we are going to Yikes, we need to find some, some income quickly. And it doesn't look like the north really is a good place for it. If we've already done everything we can over here, which is what I'm kind of expecting. I don't want to go this far north. So... All right, I think what we have to do is head back to Ognestead. If we still can't find anything, then we'll head back south. I don't I don't think we're gonna find too much here. So we, we need to go somewhere where there's money and food. All 
Okay, good. Got, got some contracts here. They're, they're not hungry. Um, yeah, this price is getting much better. We're at 19%. That's, that's getting close. I, I'm almost considering to just get rid of it now because... Well, because... Eh, too expensive. Okay. Whoops, that's not what I want to look at. Let's take a look at the contracts. If we can find, like, a caravan mission, maybe we'll use that to go south. And that will that will feed us along the way as well. Okay, this is another follow the tracks, which might be the other option. And this is going five days to the south, to Owenburg. And it's paying a lot. I think we do it. Five days to the southeast, we won't need any food for this mission. Uh, we might just buy some food anyway, somewhere along the way, to make sure that we have Owenburgs right there. Uh, so we're going to kind of do this. Whoops. Nope, we're going to go all the way around here. Yeah. Let's do it. I am going to... How much... We have two days worth of money. I mean, we're desperate now, right? Maybe not. Maybe not. Three days of money of, uh, of pay four and five okay <laughs> I didn't really want to sell everything off but um, I'm hoping I can find a better price for this make a couple hundred more bucks would be nice but let's take that contract and we'll find some food along the way, maybe, for cheaper. But let's do it. Let's get out of here. Or we spend some money on food now. We can hunt down this, maybe do this, and then take that. But I'm afraid of losing any one of those. So let's, let's just do this. Let's take a couple stacks of grains with us. And let's do this one. Are we in good condition? I probably should have checked before we took that. We're in good condition. All right. I wonder if I could, maybe I'll do this. I think that's a good idea. he's kind of hurting he'll be more help yeah it's not like actually that's better let's do this and <laughs> one more time whoops I'll take it away from Einar and I can give that back later Bertram you're standing on the back line. That'll work. Make some money, and I hope that that's still there when we get back. We're going to be in the forest here, but there's a road. Maybe the road's still there? It is. Okay. We'll be fine. Let's wait. Wait. That's the thug. Wait. Oh, that was a mistake. What made him think that was a good idea? And they... No, 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 no. 
So just wait there. I'm gonna wait until, let's try and squeeze some more guys on, into here. Okay. Oh, that's just a thug. Okay, never mind. Nice. I mean, he's he's pretty much toast. Um, go here, because we'll be able to reach over here, and this won't be a good spot for him. Oops. Nice. Go on a little adventure there. Oh, I really needed to hit that head. Good. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I think that was a headshot. That's that's lovely. We'll wait. That definitely was a headshot. Ooh. Okay. Nice. That was still good. Wait, so we can move up. Guys. Yeah, I can't move up now. Strange. Wait. Pop over there. I mean, he's probably not even going to take part in this at this point, but... Nice. Nice work. He still has repost. Okay, so... I'm gonna just wait. <clears throat> nice. Headshot. Good. And... 47, 47. Nice. That was almost certainly a headshot. There we go. Let's uh, switch here. Oh, you don't have it. Okay. <laughs> Finally. Ah! And it's done. All right, just back up. And that was pretty easy, 680 bucks, or crowns, that we made there, so I think that was worth it. Let's go back, we have enough money, and we'll jump on that caravan, it should still be there, I don't see why not. Frizzle with a level up. And, okay, a couple more helmets, that's good, we're finally, I think, okay, I think we're looking better here. Um... I was I was a bit worried about this um, about this uh, series because it just didn't feel like we were making progress. Like we started off with three hundred crowns or something like that. Just it's not the progress that uh, 
that I was hoping for, expecting. Getting closer. Uh, probably don't need those anymore. Um, I don't know. I guess we can throw that. Where'd it go? Let's grab these and put them on anybody that needs a like kind of an upgrade. Put that onto you too as well. That's that's not bad. And yeah, so it was. I don't know. It was. I was getting a little worried about it. Oh, plus four melee defense. Nice. Uh, pretty much trash everywhere else. I think I should go for the resolve. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was worried. I'll admit it. But I, I I'm starting to see that that like okay our our front line finally has um like full helmets now. It's not this uh, coifs or or actin caps, you know. It's it's starting to look like a crew that that deserves to be here at this level now. Uh, I would like to get Rizzo in some heavier gear, but it looks like he's probably going to be in this kind of gear forever. I've already given him recover. Gifted might be a good thing. To make sure that his fatigue rises up a bit more. Brawny, probably not. And really, the, the Morningstar is probably a bad idea for him at this point. I think it would be better to give him, like, a... Like a sword. Because it will be, it'll be lighter than that. That's gonna... That saves him four fatigue. It's not the it's not a huge amount but since he's since he has that higher hit chance though it's it's hard to pass up so he's just gonna have to handle it for now and this probably rotation it's probably a really bad idea but I think it's more for him to get out of the situation than to get into the situation but I think I have to go for Gifted on this one. Just so I can finally get a plus four in his Fatigue. I think a plus four in his Resolve is pretty important as well. <laughs> I almost want to put the, the plus four in Hit Points too. Man. Is that worth it? To go four 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 here? Or should I really go for his Melee skill? Or defense too is another good one, but he has he has better chances of getting three or fours too. So, hmm. Let's go for the attack. I think best defense is offense, right? That's how that works. And. I'm getting very tempted to selling this. I want to see 20, 21% before I do. So I think I'll hold on to it a little bit longer. Now that I've made some money back. Oh, actually, I forgot about you. Einar, we need to switch these out. Yep. So these can go finally. Let's get rid of... A bunch of those shields. This can all go. I know I could like fix them up, but I, I don't think I really need to. Gambison is gone as well. So now we just have like we're getting some better reserves here. This is this is good. Reserve gear. Anything here that we can afford and want to buy? No. Alright. Let's jump into this. I'm afraid of taking that other thing and not finding it in time. So... Right, we should check this out before we go.
Militia Leonhard. We have 10 days. So if we cut that in half with Leonhard, then we'll still have enough money. Sellsword would, would uh, deplete our our uh, our crowns pretty quickly. Hmm. I mean, Leonhard is coming in with some gear of his own, which is pretty nice. So I don't have to wait to put him in, or... Uh, and I could put Bertram on the front line as, like, that reserve and keep Leonhard on the back with, with this pike until he's good enough. Unless he's already good enough. But a militia? I'm gonna pass. Let's get out of here. I'm passing because I think once we once we get down there, we'll make three thousand crowns. If we get down there, I should say. So, if we get down there, three thousand crowns. If we sell that, we'll get another three grand, possibly close to, more likely closer to four is really what I'd like to be shooting for. So that's over seven. Probably get down there with about a thousand left. Eight thousand, we'll be able to purchase up or hire up a, a good brother. That's that's foreboding. And we could even head into the south to find a um, a nomad or something else as well. Grandpap. In the well? Let's help her. Okay. I guess, uh, I guess the man's dead. Alright. <laughs> we tried. We tried. Okay. Orc Marauders, it's probably just oh a few Orc Warriors too. Ooh, what do you think, guys? It's probably two, right? Two Orc Warriors. And some. It could be Well, that's right. You know what? Okay, well, I mean, we have some fodder, sure, but we do have this as well. We are in the forest. I think if we stand up here, like, uh, definitely take this space. Let's, let's see them charge at us. Wait. No, please don't. Don't do that. Wait. Uh, wait. 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 Beat Helm. Sure. Wait. I think I want to move up on this flank. But I'm going to keep back here because I don't want them to step up there. Wait. Wait. So it looks like just two. I mean, not that that's like a great thing or at all, but... Ugh. It just, that, that's doing nothing. Let's end your turn. Headshot's here. And I really need 
them to not take my spaces. Um, let's move up to here. You still like that? See? Just like that. Well, it's not nothing. Wait. Oh, he didn't charge. What? Oh, because we're in forest. Okay. Wait. Wait. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's pretty ballsy up there. Uh, Frizzo shield wall. Just just hang out there. Shield. And shield. I am ending my turn. But I don't think they're they're moving up anymore, so. Spear wall, just to maybe keep them there. That's nice, we've taken one down. It's scary. You're so scary, man. Uh, but no, really, you're, you're pretty scary. I, I've found that um, daggers and knives are pretty good for, for ruining their morale, so I, I'm gonna try that again. Maybe not right away, but... Hey, that's good. And there. Oh. Wait. Wait. <laughs> These peasants. They're loving it. It's not good. It's very bad. What their, what their plan is. Really? You think standing in front of Igor is your best course of action? We'll, we'll wait. Nice. Not nice. Good. Good work. You missed. Um, yeah, right there. Yeah, there's still one more. Uh, nope, that's bad. That's very, that's a bad idea. <laughs> These guys are smart. I don't know what they put into um, uh, the peasants' food in this game, but uh, it, they are... Well, they're not resilient, that's for sure. But they are pretty bold. Hang, hang out there. Just end your turn. Good. Punch. This is going to be a, the worst one, I think. <laughs> they keep missing. Please do not kill that guy. 
Uh, yeah, you know what we're gonna do? I can't believe that. I guess I can. Okay. I mean, that's, see, that's bad. Very bad. I'm gonna wait. I wanna see what. Wow. Really? I mean, they're gonna be hitting. I can't, I can't have them uh, doing this. I can't do anything. I'll end your turn. Um. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Good work. He's actually doing some damage there. What? End your turn. Get out of there. was important. No, no headshots. On. Uh, we're getting desperate here. Nice. I mean, he's he is almost certainly dead. <laughs> I don't, I don't see, I mean, we, we, we need to kill these guys now. There's one. Hey. Oof. Okay. Nope. Let's, let's run over here. No! <laughs> Ow! You are not running away from us. Uh, yeah. You're stuck there. You know what? It's over. Because we're about to lose a second guy. Oh. He got up. He got up with a broken knee. Um, he is now a back. He's on the back line. We almost lost Valdemar. Wow. It is. It is going to be difficult because we are. Well, we're out of ammunition. We're also on the road. So. If we get ambushed again, here, since we're here, oh, what is this? Is that disbanded troops? We might get something here. I don't know if it just means, yeah, it doesn't look like, I mean, gear looks like it's a little cheaper, but Tools and supplies really aren't cheaper. We need this. I mean, we need it, so... Let's just get rid of this stuff. Let's 
let's take a look here. And it's only... Wow. Uh, well, he is super cheap, so I can't... I can't say no to this. Uh, yeah, that is that is just way too cheap to say no to. And you, my friend, are all done on the front line. It is way too bad. Too bad, so sad, but you are... <laughs> Eugene is done. And, um, yeah, you're probably pretty pretty angry with me, but we just can't have it anymore, so... Unfortunately, our... Conscript Dietmar here. Although he's coming in with 61, he's not going to be able whoops, to uh, field or wear the same gear as uh, Eugene was wearing. So that means we're going to have to find somebody else. Gurlock might be a good option because his melee skills just trash anyway. Uh, and he can take it. Okay. So Gerlach is taking that space. And we are... Wow, he is, he's pretty bad too. Eatmar. Okay, Bertram is right back onto the front line. You're giving him a, um, a sword. I think that's going to be a better option for him for now. I don't remember what he had. He, I don't know if he had another... He might have had another um, Grimace Axe. All right, well, Kale True Shot has leveled up for the first time. That's that's good to know. Well, we'll take the plus three. And I'm going to go for Resolve for him. There's, there's kind of a chance that we'll need a secondary uh, Bannerman. And otherwise, he could also do um, fearsome with the bow, and that's gonna that's gonna help out. So I think plus five will give him plus three to his range skill and uh, initiative. Yep, we'll see where that goes. I'm surprised we made it out of that. Uh, we weren't completely unscathed, but um, we we did make it out of it. Wherever we can stop, we'll stop. Unholds around, that's not good. And... Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, that's not good at all. I really hope. I'm not even going to say it. This looks like a pretty rough place to be. Uh, this is the road through Buried Snake Hills. Or on the way through Buried Snake Hills. So, oh, Hexenwald is around here too. Yeah, so I. it looks like... This hideout over here, and maybe the burned ruins, I don't know. They might be letting out some... I saw some footprints, but one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's, it's a lot of battle sites around here. Seven. Well, we've made it. 3,565 crowns, 
That's fantastic. We did collect some heads, and I did not see how many heads we... Oh, well, I think we collected. Was it seven or eight? Um, I forgot to see how much more that was per uh, per head. Might have been 50 or, or maybe a little less than that. Uh, you know what would be cool, actually? It's like a history. I know you can go over here, and if you put the... Let's see... Yeah, so if you go to the relations and you put a cursor on the relations bar, you can see what you've done for them and why they like you or, or hate you. But, um, you know, it, it could be cool, like, history and then have, like, a tab obituary and um, what you've done. And if you finish them, like, the, the missions, whether you finish them or not, contracts, things like that, so that would be an interesting addition to the game. Well supplied with an armorer. And well, they have the noble male. I really love the noble male. As you can tell from my uh, my icon there, or my avatar. Um, I mean... Prices are really decent here. 129, so it's 29%. But I'm more interested in... No, not selling, that's for sure. I'm more interested in... Hiring at this point. Ooh. That is very, di very difficult to pass up. You don't get to see that very often, so... I might take it... Let's see about hiring. Nothing. Well, okay, another Militiaman. Um, hmm. And another Deserter. Not... Not going to take another Deserter. I really need to find some... Some frontline brothers. And... The Militiaman... Sometimes they cut it. Sometimes they just don't. And I don't really want to be buying farmhands either, so... My my options are basically... Any combat brother with a lot of fatigue. There's probably going to be... Wildmen would be a good option. Let's see if we can... Wildmen would maybe be in Yulinfest. They, they, they kind of like places with marshes. Uh, from my understanding, eh, probably not Seastead. Yeah, it's not. I guess this would be the best chance to finding one. And I don't really feel like just running around to hire. I'd really like to find something, find a place to do a contract, hire some people. We could also head down into the desert there are nomads that would be a really good one for us um but i think all of that is going to have to wait until next time that was a pretty tricky battle that we that we just barely made through and um i'm glad that eugene made it but he's never going to be the same so it might come down to You know what? I mean, I I don't I don't really see a reason to keep him, honestly. He's 100 fatigue. His his melee skill is only 54. So instead of paying, I mean, as a farmhand, 13 daily. That's so the golden goose is basically paying him, and we're getting nothing out of it. Um, his melee defense, he has a lot of hit points, but yeah, I, I just, I, I don't see it. I don't see it. So Eugene, I'm sorry. We will compensate you, but we, we just can't keep him around if he's not really going to be a good, 
I mean, if, if he had like 70 melee skill, we could throw him on the back line like uh, Deepmar. Deepmar only has 61 and I'm keeping him. Um, oh, Deepmar's the new guy. No, we need to keep you in there a little bit longer. We definitely need to keep him in there a little longer. So let's actually take a look at some of our frontliners. Is there somebody we want to send forward? It's probably Deepmar, right? But he doesn't have the fatigue. So, yeah, man. I think I just sent... I just put Gurlock over there. Uh, Bertram was the one I just brought forward. After, I think he was sitting out. Or he might have been a backliner. I think he was sitting out. Um, well, in any case, you know, Alvar, our bannerman... What we can do is kind of switch our hybrids in and out. Let's put Deepmar over there. What we can do is kind of something like this. That looks like a good setup. Um, yeah, something like that. Then we can switch him in and out and, and bring him into the, in the center here. Um, but we'll do it this way for now. And these guys both have... Oh, you don't anymore. Oh, that's right. I sold it. Well, in any case, it's the end of the video. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can let me know by leaving a like or comment in the comment section. And as always, thanks for stopping by. And I hope to see you next time.